Hello everyone, Peter Newman with you. In RE Insight this week, we are talking about how ryegrass evolves resistance to, to Sakura. How does it do it? What is the mechanism? Now you might remember that a few years ago, RE researcher Roberto Buzzi evolved resistance to Sakura to ryegrass in the lab before it had even been released to farmers to the market. And Sakura resistance isn't really a problem in the field yet. There might be one or two populations out there, but Roberto found resistance in the lab before it had happened in the field. And now he has worked with a team of researchers around the world to work out what is the mechanism behind this resistance. Now he suspected metabolic resistance from the start because he found cross resistance to a range of other herbicides that are in different groups to Sakura. But what sort of metabolic resistance was it? In the past, we've talked a lot about P450 enzymes in metabolic resistance, but he found something else. And so what we are talking about here is GSTs, glutathione S transferase. Now these are a different type of metabolic resistance, a different super family of enzymes that occur naturally in plants, but are implicated in resistance in, a, in some other weeds as well. So what is GST? How does it work? GST is a little bit like the goods and services tax GST in that it makes things bigger. It adds something onto the price. The GST does well, the GST enzyme adds something onto the herbicide molecule. So let's take a look. I've drawn Sakura here as a key because Sakura is a herbicide that is trying to bind to an enzyme. It's a bit like a key going into a lock. So if Sakura binds to the enzyme that it's targeting, makes that enzyme redundant, then the plant dies. If, if it can't bind, then the plant survives. Well, what happens in the case of uh, GST mediated herbicide resistance is that the GST enzyme glutathione S transferase, it transfers a glutathione molecule onto the Sakura molecule, onto the herbicide molecule. So this is glutathione, often referred to as GSH, and it is the GST enzyme that makes this reaction happen. GST, as I said, stands for glutathione S transferase. It transfers a glutathione onto the molecule. Now we have a really big molecule and it, obviously it can no, can no longer bind to the enzyme because it's got this great big glutathione hanging off it. But that's not where it finishes. What happens next is this molecule gets broken into bits or metabolites as you might like to call them and it gets broken up again into smaller bits and then in some cases a glucose or molecule will be bound onto some of these metabolites. So essentially what we, where we originally had our Sakura molecule, it's now been bound to something else, broken into lots of little pieces, and it no longer looks like a herbicide anymore, and it no longer works. So the plant has used the GST to break the herbicide down before it could get to the target site. And that is how Sakura resistance in ryegrass, in terms of the one that Roberto evolved in the lab those years ago, that is the mechanism it was using to cause resistance to Sakura. Now, interestingly, the researchers from Kumeyaay, who are the chemical company that discovered Sakura and have done a lot of research on it, they found that wheat does exactly the same thing. This is how wheat tolerates Sakura. So, really interesting story. It's a little bit like back in the day when our first hoe grass resistant ryegrass was metabolic resistant. What it had done, it had mimicked the wheat plant. The wheat plant was using P450 enzymes to tolerate hoe grass, and then ryegrass evolved that same resistance, upgraded the P450 enzymes exactly the same as the wheat. Well, this is looking a bit the same. Where we have a wheat plant, which is like a grassy type plant that is tolerant to a grass selective herbicide, it has a mechanism, and then in some cases, those grass weeds mimic what the wheat has, to tolerate the herbicide and that is exactly what has happened here. Anyway, a really interesting story. For more information, take a look at RE Insight.